gorgeous gardens of Utah, everyone. It is October 20th, 2020, and it's time to harvest some peppers, which also means it's time to eat some of the peppers. I'm gonna be definitely spitting, possibly even puking, so we'll find out how that goes. First up, we have the rainbow bell. In this case, it is a purple. So this one is definitely not gonna hurt, but we'll find out. Alrighty, here we go. Doesn't taste totally ripe. Actually tastes like green beans. Yeah, there's no heat to that one. All right, on to the next one. And since I can't seem to keep it so that my head is not cut off, I'm switching to the front camera here. All right, which one are we doing next? All righty, next up on our taste testing tour is the Mini Sweets. And this has been my favorite this year. It is a, also a heatless. But it is very sweet and has a nice rich flavor. So we'll go with this guy next. Definitely a sweet one. I do want to attempt to cross this with some of my hotter peppers. Maybe the sugar rush peach or something like that. The parent to this plant we originally got at the grocery store. I believe it was Costco in a, one of those bags of multicolored peppers. But yeah, definitely no heat to that one. Very sweet. All right, next one is the Dayton pepper. This guy is a new one for me this year. It was uh, talked about on the pepper Facebook group that I'm a part of and was highly recommended. I have no idea what the heat level is. So, Let's just grab one and go. Very fruity, very tasty, kind of florally. There's some heat to that one. That one's pretty hot, but not totally hot. That one's probably gonna be burning for a few minutes. I'll let you know in just a sec. Still on the dadle here. It's been about a minute. It's kind of tapering off now. It did increase in heat for a good 15 seconds, but now it's tapered off and it's just producing a lot of saliva. So, probably see you in about five minutes. All right, we're about three minutes in on the day till, and it actually just keeps building. So, we'll see how long I last on that one. This is number three of 10, so <laughs> All right, we're about 10 minutes out on the day till pepper. Just looked it up, it's uh, between 100 and 300,000. So it pushes the habanero rating. My tongue is still pretty burny. My lips are pretty burny, but the pain for the most part is gone. It just feels hot. So let's go to the next one, shall we? All right, this next one I'm gonna do is the Ahi, can't pronounce it, Sharapita, I believe. Here we go, got a nice small one here. Look at that, that guy is pretty small. Come on, focus, darn you, there we go. So look, that guy is pretty small. All right, here we go. Ahi, can't pronounce it. Sharapita. Oh gosh. Don't inhale that one. <coughs> Whew. Yeah. Go ahead, laugh. <laughs> it's hot. Don't have, it doesn't have much flavor, it's just hot. All right, let you know how that one goes. That one doesn't taste very good either. All right, about three minutes out on the ahi. It's increasing. 
still doesn't taste good. It's mostly just heat, but it's rivaling the day till now. So I'm gonna look it up and see what I just did to myself. All right, uh, he says it's between 30,000 and 100,000. So this one's probably around the 75 to 90,000 level, because it's pretty hot. It's, uh, like I said, rivaling the day till. So in about 10 minutes, I'll go to the next one. All right, how about another heatless one, or one that's supposedly heatless? This guy is the Roulette Habanero, second generation. Its parent was definitely heatless. So far, everyone else that I've eaten from it is heatless. But we'll find out. All right, here we go. Heatless Habanero. Let's see if the burniness from the ahi makes this one hot. Good flavor, less florally, but still good. I don't notice any heat on that one, so walked out on that guy. All right, how about the next one that was last year's hottest? This is the Golden Cayenne. This is also second generation. Traditionally about thirty to 50,000 on this one. Let's see how this goes. I should probably breathe before I take the bite, huh? It's got some good flavor. I feel it going up into my nose there. Don't know if I'm just burned out from last few, but oh, there it goes. Mm-hmm. Got some heat. Yep. Not as much heat as I remember last year, but we are still in the first minute, so. Let you know what happens in the next three minutes. All right, we're about three minutes in off the uh, Golden Cayenne. And the left side of my tongue here is actually quite hot. The right side, nothing much. So I must have burned out everything on my right side. But yeah, still spitting and still hot. So see you in another seven minutes for the next round of awesome pain. Alrighty, in the meantime, you can see I'm starting the actual phase of the grape project. We've got these holes here that I've started. The red indicates the center point. As you can see here, the PVC pipe measures the center. The green circle is where I'm digging the holes. And they will be filled in with the wood here. We're going to be building a pergola. Similar to my neighbors you can see right there. But we're going to grow the grapes on it. So it's going to be about 7 feet tall, 10 feet long, 4 feet wide. And I'm now digging the holes for it. So we're going to be putting the uprights in on Thursday and it is Tuesday. So I've got some work cut out for me. But how about another pepper, shall we? It's still hot from the cayenne. But let's go with one of these guys here. What is this one? This is a pretty and purple. So I will try it in its purple phase. How about this guy right here? Another small one there. All right. Why do I do this to myself? Actually tastes the way little grass violets smell. Interesting. Chewing it on the right side because the left side is still burning from the cayenne. I don't notice much heat at all. 
peppers give me pretty bad heartburn in and of themselves so I'm not gonna be swallowing the rest of these but yeah pretty and purple I don't notice much heat at all I could be burned out though so let's immediately go into the next one this guy is the black olive I believe yes black olive is that what? down he goes all right oh there we go we have an appearance from Nilla. Now that's our new kitty cat. New garden guardian. She is about six months old. Callie, unfortunately, had to be put to sleep. Had too much pain with her kitty asthma and couldn't breathe. So we'll now be seeing more of Nilla here. And we colored Nilla because there were two little patches here on the back, you see? Look like Nilla wafers. Hi, Nella. Hello. Where's big brother? She is a full sibling to Mikey, who is around here somewhere. All right, back to the black olive. See how this goes. Not, not a good flavor. It's sweet, but it's kind of warm. Actually tastes like peas out of a pea pod. There is some heat to that one, I can tell you that. That one probably will rival the cayenne. Alright, back to my hole project. And helping me dig these holes, I've got a newer auger bit here by Yard Butler, you can see there, Roto Auger. It is 18 inches long, one and a quarter inches in diameter. Got it for about $21. And then there's this black one. So it should be a little heavier duty than the Earth Auger that I have been using. Got my garden drill out here. As you can see, it is not the battery operated, it is the full 120 volt strength here. And we will load up the auger bit here. You can see it's got a nice triangular shape to it. There we go. So, a little better also than the earth auger, which is a smooth bore. Not much for the drill to grip on. So we will just feed it right in there. Here we go. Maybe, am I tightening? Nope. <laughs> Tighten it up here, here we go. All right, let's get to drilling. All right, and then you just, I'll be going around the outside here. And I'm trying to get 18 inches diameter here. I would use dynamite if I could, but not within city limits, unfortunately. So, next best thing is to drill the boreholes, as if you will. And we're going down that deep. That's a meter. So, it's just a few inches shy of that. On to the next hole here. See that needs some more drilling there.
a flip deep on that guy. So I'm going to come back over to this one for the next hole. However, we've got another pepper to eat. What's up next here? We've got the Hungarian purple or Hungarian black with the ghost hybrid. That's my cross that I made back in 2015. So we're going to do one of the parentals here. This is the Hungarian black. And then I'll do the hybrid. All right, here goes, Hungarian black. No heat yet. I can feel a slight tingle. There's something there. I'm probably a little burned out though. But yeah, there's virtually no heat on that one. However, We'll find out just how no heat there is here. Because this is the child. So, this is actually from the mother plant was the Hungarian black. The father plant, or pollen donator, was the red ghost. And that's how important the pollen is. It has completely turned the fruit from a reddish and smooth wall into a ghost looking also red but it's got kind of a lighter red but also the darker red there but mostly it's the shape so if you don't think the father does much at least for peppers that's what you can expect all right let's see how much of the Ghost's heat genetics transferred over. This is probably not going to be fun. Florally. I can tell the florally right there off the bat. Oh, I can feel it going up into my nose. gonna be a hot one I can tell Whew. it tastes okay not as well as I thought it would be we are gonna be adding this to our salsa and our hot sauce so it's a creeper I can tell you that <laughs> that's definitely gonna be hot we'll see you in about five minutes to see where what stage of cussing I'm in oh we're only at about two minutes in and I might actually go get some milk this is pretty hot it definitely carried over I mean I haven't even had any milk or ice cream or bread yet but this is the first water I've had. Whew. I'm definitely clearing the sinuses, but that is not fun at all. I'll be breathing like this for at least the next 10 minutes. But yeah, my, my lips are on fire it is painful everything I did before it did not prepare me for this ouch yeah that was not fun it is really burny and really painful more than I have ever experienced even from just licking the top of a Carolina Reaper so I caved, I'm inside, I'm having a burrito and having some milk with my nutmeg in it. And it's definitely clearing my sinuses. 
Okay, I just had a burrito with milk. And my mouth is still on fire. What uh, part isn't on fire is numb. And yeah, this is about seven to 10 minutes out from the Hungarian black ghost hybrid. So I think I'm done for this, this year. See you next year.